हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर सचिन सरोदे आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू इन द वीडियो ग्रेटेस्ट कॉमन डिवाइजर एंड जीसीडी ऑफ ए एंड बी कैन बी रिटर्न एज अ लीनियर कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ ए एंड बी वी लर्न हाउ जीसीडी ऑफ ए एंड बी कैन बी रिटर्न एज लीनियर कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ ए एंड बी वी लर्न इन दैट वीडियो प्रूफ ऑफ How GCD of A and B can be written as AX plus BY, where X and Y are the integers. Here we have to learn how to find these two integers X and Y such that GCD of A and B is equal to AX plus BY. So we'll go directly to problem. Find integers X and Y such that GCD of 56 and 72 is equal to 56x plus 72y. Here we have to find this x and y. So in the video, how to find greatest common divisor using Euclidean algorithm? We have learned how to find GCD of any two numbers. I have taken the same problem, GCD of 56 and 72. This problem has solved in that video. So I have written directly uh, the method here to save time. I just explain here. Seventy-two is greater than fifty-six. So divide seventy-two by fifty-six. So we can write by division algorithm. Seventy-two is equal to fifty-six into one plus sixteen. Here one is a quotient and sixteen is a remainder. Now again divide fifty six by sixteen. Therefore, we will get. We can write fifty six is equal to sixteen into three plus eight. Now divide sixteen by eight. So we can write sixteen is equal to eight into two plus zero. Here the last non-zero remainder is eight. Therefore, the GCD of fifty six and seventy two is eight. For more details, you can see that. video link of that video is given in description so here gcd of 56 and 72 is what 8 now we have to write gcd of 56 and 72 as a 56x plus 72y and we have to find x and y it is our main problem here so see here gcd of 56 and 72 is what Eight that we have computed. Now from this, I can write eight as a eight is equal to see here fifty six minus sixteen into three. Therefore, eight is equal to fifty six minus I write in bracket sixteen into three. This is again equal to fifty six. I simplify this bracket minus sixteen into three. Now. I just go one step upper. So here, sixteen can be written as seventy-two minus fifty-six into one. I will write down here fifty-six minus now sixteen. How can I write bracket seventy-two minus fifty-six into one into three? I simplify this bracket. 56 as it is minus now 72 into 3 72 into 3 we here don't have to compute this just we have to write 72 into 3 here minus 56 into 1 into 3 so here 1 into 3 is what 3 56 into 3 so again i simplify this bracket 56 minus 72 into 3 Minus into minus, it become plus plus fifty six into three. Now here fifty six, and here plus fifty six into three. So I can write this as a fifty six into here is one plus three is what four minus seventy two into three. So again this I can write fifty six into four. I write this as a plus plus seventy two into minus. Three. Therefore, eight 
is written as a 56 into 4 plus 72 into minus 3. Therefore, x is equal to 4 and y is equal to minus 3. Now, we will see another problem. Find integers x and y such that GCD of 272 and 1479 is equal to 272x plus 1479y. Here we have to find x and y. So firstly, we have to find GCD of 272 and 1479. In the video, how to find greatest common divisor using Euclidean algorithm, we have find GCD of 272 and 1479. You can see that video for more details. Link of that video is given in description. Here I have written directly GCD of 272 and 1479 as a 17. I just explained this. Here 1479 is greater than 272. So divide 1479 by 272. So we will get quotient as a 5 and remainder as a 119. So that we can write 1479 is equal to 272 into 5 plus 119. Again divide 272 by 119 you will get quotient as a 2 and remainder as a 34. So we can write 272 is equal to 119 into 2 plus 34. Now divide 119 by 34 we will get quotient as a 3 and remainder as a 17. So that we can write 119 is equal to 34 into 3 plus 17. Now divide 34 by 17. We know 17 to the 34. Therefore, we can write 34 is equal to 17 into 2 plus remainder as a 0. Here 17 is the last non-zero remainder in Euclidean algorithm. Therefore, GCD of 272 and 1479 is what? 17. So, we can write GCD of 272 and 1479 is equal to 17 and from this we can write 17 as a 119 minus in bracket 34 into 3. Now this is equal to, now go one step above, now 34 can be written as 272 minus 119 into 2, just write the value of 34 here, 119 as it is in bracket, value of 34 is what, again bracket, 272 minus 119 into 2, bracket close into 3 this bracket close now this is equal to just simplify this bracket 119 minus bracket now 272 into 3 272 into 3 this is minus now 119 into 2 into 3 this will write 119 into 2 into 3 is 6 see here we don't have to compute the values we have to just write this as it is 119 to 6 now again simplify this bracket so we we'll get this is equal to 119 minus 272 into 3 minus minus plus so i can write here 119 into 6 now see here 119 into here is 1 plus 119 into 6 so we can take 119 as a common and we will get 119 into 1 plus 6 is what 7 so i can write here 7 minus 272 into 3 as it is now again go one step above now here is 119 so we can write 119 as a 1479 minus 272 into 5 make this bracket into 7 minus 272 into 3 as it is so this is can be written as simplify this bracket 1479 into 7 minus 272 into 7 into 
फाइव थर्टी फाइव माइनस टू हंड्रेड सेवेंटी टू इंटू थ्री एज इट इज नाउ दिस इज इक्वल टू वन थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड सेवेंटी नाइन इंटू सेवन माइनस नाउ टू हंड्रेड सेवेंटी टू हियर इज टू हंड्रेड सेवेंटी टू आई कैन टेक कॉमन हियर टू हंड्रेड सेवेंटी टू इंटू थर्टी फाइव प्लस थ्री थर्टी एट सो हियर थर्टी एट You can write this as two seven two into minus thirty eight plus one thousand four hundred seventy nine into seven. So, and this is equal to what? Here is seventeen GCD of two hundred seventy two and one thousand four hundred seventy nine. So, here value of x is what? Minus thirty eight, and value of y is what? Seven. Thank you.